please excuse the fact that I look like an absolute wreck. I still really haven't gotten out of bed except to have breakfast, so fun. <sighs> I can't believe I failed my reading challenge after two weeks. No, no, not two weeks, two months, sorry. My challenge was to read a book a month. But A-levels are over now. Summer is also almost over. And I'm going to be going off to uni soon. But I recently um, discovered about a book called Carmilla that I discovered I really, 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 really wanted to read. And I also bought Dracula along with that because that's my next book. I started reading it last night and managed to get this far through it already. I'm gonna try finishing it by today. I've got this much left, so it shouldn't take that long. This took me about four hours, which I'm not sure. At first I was really proud of about it, but now I realize how short that actually was. I could have read an entire book by that time when I was younger. That's shameful. But yeah, I'm so obsessed with Lafani's writing that I'm literally, just before starting to film this, I was looking up other books by him to order, even though I don't have any money. But still, I'm not gonna like do my review fully until I've read it completely, but I'm obsessed. This is one of the few books I would actually reread. I have a thing where I don't really like rereading or rewatching. But this I would. <laughs> it, mm, the writing's so good, I'm not even joking. I was freaking out over descriptions. Can you tell that I love this book? Okay, I'm just gonna try finishing it off by today. Hopefully I continue doing the reading challenge properly from now on. I'm done with myself. Okay! I'd be looking like the actual hunchback that visits Carmilla and Laura. Spoilers! One thing I'm actually also interested to see is to see how Carmilla and Dracula compare because Carmilla came before and it's like the OG but Dracula's always been seen as the OG so that's that's going to be interesting I think <laughs> to be fair it's going to take a lot to top Carmilla in my eyes so I just finished the book I don't even know what to say because I almost can't fault it. I will admit at the end, not the very end, but like when it was approaching the end, I thought the ending was going to be really unsatisfying because it didn't um, say much about the backstory of Carmilla or how she got there. At the end, it does kind of like pull it together. It's like very brief, but like it does sum it up and the briefness of the book is something that I do like about it and the rest of it. So it does kind of tie in together at the end that I thought I wouldn't get and I was really worried for a second. Oh, I'm still so obsessed with the descriptions. I can't get over it. The writing. If I can ever get to that standard of writing, then I will count myself as having mastered writing, okay? Because no words. That was basically the only fault I could find in the book. <laughs> Something that I really liked about it was that in its writing style, the lines are quite spaced out, the paragraphs um, are quite short. And um, sometimes it's even just sentences. And I think that really helped me when getting back into reading. It was really easy to read. So apart from being masterful, the writing, it's also... It also keeps in mind... I don't know if it keeps in mind, but it's really easy to read. Especially if you're not an avid reader. Which I used to be, but unfortunately I'm trying to get back into because I stopped being on. It's painful. But yeah, so if you're trying to get back into reading, I would recommend it. 
Also, if you're just, you know, looking for another book to read, I would recommend it because it's good, okay? I, I know I keep saying it, but out of five stars, I give it ten. <laughs> this is something really minor, but I just picked out um, uh, almost at the end. I just really like this. This bit that says, Carmilla did this, so did Malaka. I was just like, perfect symmetrical reflection almost. <laughs> After taking English literature for A-levels, every time I see symbolism in a book, I'm like, I see you. <laughs> so that like really excited me. <laughs> I also have like some more theories on that, but like, mm, this is a review, not a theory uh, video. I'm not gonna lie, the prologue, prologue kind of like, worried me a bit because it didn't really draw me in that much, but as soon as I started reading the actual book, I flipped. <laughs> I feel like the ending gives like a perfect balance of kind of making you feel a bit sympathetic for Carmilla, but only like a tiny bit because it's also balanced out with It kind of makes me sad that it didn't have a happy ending, but this is a more satisfying ending because it's like, this is what vampirism is like. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be like buying all of the other books that Lefanu has written. Honestly, if you value literature at all, you will go and read this book. Just the gothic themes are... <laughs> 10 out of 5. <laughs> I'm just speechless and even if I had words to speak they would never like match up to the brilliance of the writing in this book. Can you stop shouting please? It is now a book that I shall hold close to my heart and put in my ever-expanding bookshelf. <laughs> However, I do hold a few qualms, and I left this bit until the end because uh, I know that there's probably gonna be some spoilers in here. So, you know, watch at your own risk, or like and comment and subscribe and then leave the video. <laughs> but this might simply be because I did watch the web series before, well, at least some of it, before reading the book so it might not be entirely the book's fault but there is still a bit there basically I'm kind of disappointed that um, Carmilla's mother's explanation isn't there like um, they give Carmilla's like backstory and the explanation there but then there's no reasoning to the mother and her whole involvement and everything. We don't know if the mother was also a vampire. We don't know. Um, and also, <laughs> the problematic description of um, the other woman in the carriage with the mother and Carmilla. Like, obviously, I don't expect that much more because of the time this was written in, but but that in itself wasn't like the issue for me, it was more because I had watched the web series I was expecting that woman to have more of a presence in the rest of the book at some point. Like maybe at the end to explain some things, like to tie up loose ends, but I feel like they were mostly used for the um, feeling that they gave off the feeling that they exuded. The woman in her description could almost be more of a symbol than a character, as she was hidden away in the carriage and wasn't brought out to light. 
Mm, but I'm still having like doubts about the mother's character because we do see that she's heavily involved in this scheme of Carmilla like invading people's homes essentially. So I'm still confused on that bit. I do feel like watching the web series first did make me more excited for bits in the book because I was like oh yeah I, I remember that but at other bits it was very misleading and the web series has a very different plot. <laughs> it's way more romanticised and um, more made into like a hero story. Or Carmilla can become good again even though she's got no soul. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like there's a bit of a gap in knowledge there. But that almost feels like the only thing I can pick out from this book that isn't perfect. <laughs> Especially considering that I had such high expectations for this book and I wasn't disappointed in the least. <laughs> Except for maybe the mother bit, I was, I'm still confused about that, I don't understand what happened. <laughs> but from everything that I've, from all my research from before buying the book that made me, that led up to me wanting to buy the book and everything had raised my expectations so high that I was worried that I was going to be seriously let down, but I was not. I'm still in awe. <laughs> I do almost think that, that almost the fact that there was that missing link adds to the, like, um, journal feeling of the book. Like, the book in itself isn't epistolic. I don't know how to say the word. <laughs> but it did feel like, because it was a recounting from Laura's perspective, it did feel like almost like a journal. So it would make sense that some information wouldn't be, like, omnisciently gained. But I still want to know more about the mother. Am I the only one? <laughs> Like, I want to know if Carmilla in the book was also kind of forced into doing this by the mother as she was in the web series, or whether this was her own scheme, whether the mother was just an illusion. Are they not going to stop being plagued by vampires because obviously the mother's still there and she's probably a vampire? It leaves the reader with a lot of questions. Which, on the one hand, I'm kind of mad at. I'm, I'm like, I want to know. But on the other hand, what book, what good book doesn't leave the reader with questions? So, I'm conflicted. But I think that's the only thing that I have grievances about. <laughs> I don't know how much impact having watched the web series uh, had upon my reading of it, but I feel like it was quite a big impact. So I'm, um, I, I wonder what, I wonder what the reading would have been like if I hadn't watched that first. But as I said before, I do think that it did heighten some bits of the book for me. So I'm glad I did, and I'm gonna keep watching it because it's, it's there's so much of the web series. But I was glad because I did watch the web series first that. The way Laura's portrayed in the web series is very different from the way in the book because the web series character was... I really despised her, she really annoying the way the character was formed, but in the book she's almost like a clean slate for the reader to put themselves in, so that's clever because then it helps the reader immerse themselves in the feelings that the writer is trying to make you feel as well so that 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 was an experience <laughs> i also really loved the way that um laura was always saying that that she was always really attracted to carmilla but at the same time she had this feeling of abhorrence was one of the words that the writer used the way that lafanu wrote it you could actually like feel it it was Oh, it was so weird. But I loved the way that everything kind of impacted you to feel the way that Laura did. 
and that added to kind of like the journal styled uh writing i guess like it wasn't that so much a journal but like an account as the prologue describes but yes i feel like i'm just rambling now but you get the picture it is a good book <laughs> ah. but at the same time i'm aware of some of the themes and tones of the book that are way ahead of its time which is why it wasn't as recognized as dracula was but that's what not that's not what this video is about so <laughs> next up i'll probably start reading dracula and see how they compare uh but yeah i need to stop willing thank you for watching this video even though i've been gone for like an entire year Hopefully these start back up being more regular um, for the first time in this channel. I was going to say again, but no, for the first time in this channel. Like, comment what you think. If you've read the book, tell me your thoughts on it. Subscribe if you want more of this nonsensical rambling. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.